Look at this. This is really closed up. So they've dropped Fabian Coulthard there and Will Davison in terms of track space. And it's a battle to the end for these two guys. Frosty hasn't won a race this year. His last victory came at Phillip Island last year. And that was early in the season too, wasn't it? Right. Rear bar down one click for more drive. So Mark Dutton's responding in the ears of Jamie Wincup. He knows that may have a little balance issues, just hurting its rear tyres. So he's trying to get him to trim the car to respond a little better, be a little easier on its rears. But you're right, he's on him now. And uh, it's interesting because I reckon Wincup would have had to use more of everything, tyres and brakes, in that little battle to clear Coulthard that's now hurt him. And when, when he got past, I said that was timely because if he hadn't, he would have been swamped by the man chasing him at the moment, who was clearly very, very quick. And these are the sorts of things now that Frosty's got to do. When you get to this point, you've got to go on with it. He's got to have a dive at him. He's very, very fast. We often say his qualifying performances, etc., are very good, but there's just too much of the racing stuff that impacts his overall performance. And now he's worked very, very hard. He's only three or four tenths of a second behind. And you've just got to make this work now. So fast, isn't it? Isn't it? It's a, just a great race track. So Jamie's responded a bit. He did a 64.2 this time. He's wide at one. 64.1 for Winterbottom. Taking a tenth out of him, but he has responded. Win Cup, he's picked the pace up slightly. And Winterbottom looks as though this will be the lap where he, if he's close enough, right he'll exit. be aggressive. Good a exit. Great exit. Watch so. him at five. He was had a shallower exit line. He was in the power harder earlier. He'll have a look. Jamie will know it. He'll sense the colours. He'll see him in the mirrors. And he's right on the braking left. There's nothing left under brakes with that car. And in fact, he's sliding through five. And Mark Winterbottom will have a perfect bird's eye view of that. You'll see the oversteer in the preceding car. And he'll be thinking right now where he can best pull a surgical move. And he's running out of laps. He's got to press hard. And what Winterbottom will be thinking of is the previous race meeting when Coulthard died to him at the end. He needs to throw this car down the inside of Wink Cup at five or into the hairpin at eight. And he's got a good run here. You can't make the move, but you've got to be close when you come out of four. This is fantastic. Last lap. And it's a classic Holden versus Ford battle. And he'll be lamenting getting tangled up with his teammate, Mark Winterbottom. It's a round turn four. So here Hold comes an position. opportunity. He's got it, and Jamie knows it. He covers. He can only move once in the rules if he wants to cover. So there's one opportunity here, and Frosty takes it down the inside. He's on the dirty line. Then both of the front oh! contact, and around goes Winterbottom. Wincup two is the panic. Disaster at the front of the race. Wincup gets back on. Get messed up for that. Well, he had a big dive. We said he had to have a go. He locked the rear wheel. Side. He was down the dirty side of the road. And this has had an unbelievable impact on Mark Winterbottom's performance. But at the end of it, Jamie Wincup will limp home. Big contact on the final lap. Right, brother, great drive. Yeah, right with that, mate. He's certainly better. And his first win of season 2013. Here comes the defending champ again. An unbelievable finish. Mate, great drive, mate, great drive. Good stuff for holding your line, mate. Not putting up with that shit. It's also the first time that Jamie has won at this circuit. Now, Fabian Coulthard has crossed the line in second, but he will cop a 10-second penalty. So that means Will Davison and Garth Tander will be on the podium. And that will put Fabian back around 11th or 12th, somewhere in that area, Matt, when the numbers are crunched. Rick Kelly will go up to seventh too as a consequence. So the provisional results were well, Wink Up on top. As I mentioned, the actual podium will be Davison and Tander with him. Then Bright, Reynolds, Shane Van Gisbergen, and the leading Kiwi effectively with Fabian's penalty to put him into about or well, just where Jonathan Webb is or just behind. So in terms of the uh, Nissans, it was Rick Kelly who finished seventh. So that's the best performance. The first top 10 performance for the Nissan Altima in season 2013. Oh, those wheels were locked way before the corner.
And you've got to give him credit for having a go at this. You've got to say, hey, you've got to get on with it. He had the wheels locked. This on board with Wink Up. Bang! Into the side. Wink Up got away with it. He came across the road. He didn't, Wink Up didn't do anything wrong. And it is nothing. You make decisions in this sport, you ride the mistake. And that there is as good as you can do to try to make an overtaking move to win this race. So I can tell you they have adjusted the timing and it puts Fabian Coulthard in 10th spot. So Jamie Winkup, 65th career win. Will Davison and Garth Tander on the podium. <laughs> what a weird race. He really wanted this one. The damage to the side door, the driver's door. Warranty claim. <laughs> I know where the bill's going. What a sigh of relief for Jamie. Jamie Wincup, wow, what a final few laps of that race. Uh, how was your heart going when Mark Winterbottom dived down underneath? Oh, hey, Mark was quick. Um, but, uh, hey, we knew we, we had track position, so we, uh, we fought it out. But um, we have a dent in the door there. I didn't, didn't start that way. I'm not sure how it got there. <laughs> nice to get that race win. Yeah, finally got a race win, which, uh, which is good. Everyone's been asking me during the week, uh, when are you going to win one? So I'm um, very, very happy to get, get, a, get our first win for the year. Ticked a big box today, Jamie. Well done. Congratulations. Yeah. Thanks, Brad. Cheers.